Just when you thought we were done with pandemic movies, we're back at it with another one. This time, we're going to be reviewing the film Shelter in Place. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Shelter in Place which is going to be going to video on demand and digital September 14th. Um, let me, I have a lot of thoughts but I'm going to quickly sum them all up. The, the best thing about this film is easily the score. That and the very unique style of cinematography with some color grading, the use of vivid red colors to kind of dictate the mood and also kind of tell a story. And how they work together really creates this really good atmospheric horror. And the deeper this film gets, the better that does. But at the very same time, the plot was a little bit hard to get attached to because while the synopsis I feel is strong and while I feel like there is a state of character building in this, I was here for the horror. And while, you know, you see a, a, a very linear pro progression of the film el making elements, it was just the plot that was kind of like telling behind just a little bit with it. So to kind of make this make sense, in watching this film stick with it because by the time you get to the end um it does get better and it also gets a little bit more uh it gets a little bit more clear a little bit more clarity as to like what's happening um and overall i think that's the sense of, of like where i want to judge the film at and by that notion i said like this film is okay um i i i i definitely like the premise of it and just it won me over by the score and the cinematography. But let me let me break down what's going on in this film. So you have this couple who are shelter in sheltering in place at the um, Hollywood um, Roosevelt Hotel, and they're the only people there. And this is their like you know for their honeymoon and for them to have the whole hotel to themselves. I mean, I guess essentially this sounds like a good idea. I mean, I I wouldn't mind having a hotel to myself, um, especially that hotel. Well, maybe. Depends, depends on how you look at this. Um, but come to find out, it's not quite what they think it is. Now, beyond the two other employees that are there, too, that are giving off some very strong personalities um, and also a little bit of mystique to them as well, too. The couple themselves also are having some tension. Um, and, you know, the state of the world is an issue. The state of the relationship is a little bit problematic. And I and I understand this because like much like us when the pandemic was happening a lot of us were trying to make sense of like what to make of it and it was causing some very drastic emotions so I'm like I get it and then obviously because of the idea that you know they can't agree on wanting to stay and wanting to leave and then you have you know their uh the two other employees that are also adding a little bit of a, a question mark factor to everything um, you know, it's, 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 it's a very peculiar, uh, situation for the two of them and they're tested. So with that being said, um, as far as the horror elements, as I said, the score was good. Um, the cinematography was good. Um, the jump scares, if you want to count that weren't like scary, but they definitely was note to, for you to keep your eyes peeled into the background at all times. So like there was this heightened level of anticipation of something happening and it just kept building and building and building until ultimately there was a payoff at the end. Um, and then, you know, it, when they did, you know, uh, get to the points where things were just kind of happening, uh, they were, they were crucial. Like, again, I thought the sound, the, to be honest, the sound mixing was so critical to the success of this film because with so much chilling sounds from the different things that were happening and to what the school was doing, um, and then, you know, uh, also the dialogue, you know, it, it, it was really critical for it to be in the way it was, and it came together in a way that I felt like really drove the horror element in it. Um, so, yeah, there's some blood splatter, just gore and whatnot. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some uh, 
uh, edge of your seat type of like uh, things that kind of happen. And um, ultimately, while a lot of that, while I'm saying is, you know, pretty interesting, I thought Kevin Daniels' performance, uh, he was the, he's like the manager in this. I thought he was really good. I can't wait to see him in um, this new show, The Big Leap, that's coming up. And, um, yeah, I just, uh, again, I thought it was, a, it was an okay film. It was a film that I think definitely um, is, you know, could have been better in different elements. But at the same time, too, for what it did, it was enjoyable. So, uh, with that being said, for I say, you know, check it out. Shelter in Place is a film. It's going to be on demand and, and, um, and VOD, VOD on demand and digital, excuse me. So, yeah, I think it's very suitable for its release. So, uh, by all means, yes, check it out. Video on demand, digital, September 14th. Jump in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts about this film. And stay tuned for more reviews very soon. Thank you.